What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and today we're going to be doing some more prison cooking. It's a new month. It's July. It's damn near the 4th of July. And you know what's good about the 4th of July this year? Mm-hmm. What? Hot dogs. <laughs> the greatest thing about this 4th of July is neither one of us is locked up for this. Well, it's not here yet. It's not, you know, we have to... But anyways, again, with it being July, we're going to be getting back to some classic after prison show. And one way that we're going to kick that off today is with some good old fashioned prison cooking. That's right, Dave. And what exactly are we going to be preparing today? Pizza prison burrito wraps. Pizza prison burrito wraps. Or burrito prison wrap pizzas. Yeah. Something along those lines. I called it pizza burrito prison wraps. But any way that you word it with those four words put yeah, together. Yeah, because it's all of those things. That's what we're going to be making today. Now, you might be thinking about this. That like, what? How do you make a pizza burrito? Well, we're going to show you. Exactly. How so, do it. Yeah, we are. And it's going to be. <laughs> I, was trying, I was trying to like. Add on to everything you Baby, said. You don't, you don't finish my sentence. <laughs> you were like, that's right. We are. Okay. Yes. This is going to be absolutely delicious. It is. Probably a word you never want to say in prison. My God, that is delicious. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show you guys what we're going to need to make this thing. And trust me, if you try to create this at home, you're going to be just as impressed as what you're going to see us creating right here. So Dave, what are we going to need for this meal? Number one, the infamous ramen noodle soup. You gotta have ramen noodles. How many soups are we gonna need for I, this? I don't know, I figure... I don't think we're gonna need six soups. Four. Either. So you wanna go with four soups? Four soups. So we're gonna use four chicken ramen noodle soups. Why'd you throw the other one on the floor, Dave? That's not where it goes. I was just getting it out the way. You know we got a fruit fly problem in here, Dave. Please get the soup off the floor. And if you see any flies in the background, I do apologize. While I was gone in Key West, uh, I came back to a house infestation. Hey, there was this, there's this song that I kind of like from back in the day. It was, it was called, uh, I'm the crap man. See these flies flying around me? <laughs> Not impressed. What else are we gonna need for this meal, Dave? <laughs> Look, we got we got some good meat. We got Joe's sausage. Why are you putting that toward my face? We, we got, got a summer some, sausage. We got some bacon. This is exactly how you would get it on the holiday pack. On the holiday pack. Fully cooked. It's already cooked. You pull this out, put it in your pocket, take it right to the chow hall, and put it on your um biscuit. This is a high dollar. That box is like seven bucks or something. Yeah, this is a high dollar hot commodity. Prison holiday pack commissary item. Yeah. And what that means is you're not able to order this all the time. You can only order it twice a year, maybe you probably three. are. You probably are now, but when we were there, you could only get it on the holiday pack. Yeah, and if you had some bacon, see there's certain commissary items that just set you apart from other prisons. <laughs> bacon is one of those. Bags of cereal at the prisons we were at where you couldn't really get cereal all that much. You might get like the little cups of cereal, but Bacon, of course, was definitely one of those things. If you walked by a guy's bunk and it was chow time, you were going to breakfast chow and you didn't have no commissary in your locker and you knew they were serving watered down grits, some overcooked hard boiled eggs, a biscuit that was better served as a, a weapon, and you walk by a guy's bunk and he's making him a bagel, a raisin and brown sugar bagel. With bacon. With bacon. Some summer sausage. And you just walking by that bunk like, God. I could beat I could beat that dude. That's what I used to think. You could beat him. I'd be like, oh, I could beat and he would give you the bacon if I you did that. We're gonna be using bacon. No answer. No we've answer. got a summer sausage, and we've also got Mama June's. No, I'm just playing. Uh, oh, <laughs> Mama Mary's pepperoni. You can't make pizza without pepperoni. Folks. Gotta have pepperoni. They serve pepperoni there. We've got our tortillas right here. These are almost exactly like the tortillas you're gonna get in prison. Same size, except what. Cactus Annie, man. They're, the ones that you get in prison are Cactus Annie brand, and the chick on the picture is smoking hot. She's smoking hot. For a cartoon. Yeah. And when you buy a pack of wraps in prison, there's six wraps in a pack. How many is in that one? Well, this is a pack of ten, but I used four last night because I made tacos for dinner. Oh. And uh, there's six left. So we got our wraps right here. We're going to need six wraps for this meal. 
We've also got our squeeze pizza sauce right here, which you're not going to get this brand. Again, it's going to be a Cactus Annie brand. It's going to come in a squeeze bottle just, just like, like this. Yeah, just like this. We've got our pizza sauce. We've got a huge Jagormus. I don't even know if Jagormus is a word. In, in prison, we would get a block of cheese that was like this big. And probably about that long. Yeah, I think it would be about the same length, but yeah, it'd be about. You, think so? you take about a quarter off of this. Thick? You know, I'm not good at measuring thicknesses of things. You seem to be. I mean, they call me Girth Brooks. <laughs> Girth Brooks. We're gonna need mozzarella because again, you can't make a pizza without mozzarella cheese. We've got some other condiments as well. We've got some diced up jalapenos. You're not gonna get diced jalapenos in prison, but you can get jalapenos. And you dice them your damn self. And you dice them your damn self. These are going to save us one step in this process. And we've also got some ranch dressing. Now, you know, I was thinking to myself when we pulled the ranch out, and I've said this before, you know, ranch will make any prison meal, hell, it'll probably make any meal better. But ranch on pizza, though? Yeah, I think like 90% of Americans put ranch on their pizza. Where did you get those facts from? Where'd you get that? You just pulled that out of your... It was um, on Dothopedic, uh, the, where... And it said, ranch is used on pizza 90% of the time. Maybe you're right. I don't know. There's one last ingredient that we're going to need, Dave. Showcase uh, what else we've got over here. We got some chips. We got some Cheetos, some Flamin' Hot Lays. But we're going to use some of these, but it ain't even really the chips that we need. It's the bags. Now, and why do we need the bags? I'll show you later. Cool. So we got some small bags of chips right here. Uh, we got some Tupperware over there. We're going to be cutting up some things. Oh, and one last thing. We've got you some... Know, uh, our smuggled kitchen items. Yeah, we've got some onion and some green pepper. We try to put onion and green pepper on as much of everything as we make in prison. If you can get your hands on any of these things, they're just going to enhance those meals tenfold. Just make it, everything taste better. Oh, we need one more thing, Dave. We need one more thing. We're going to need some We're going to need some spread cheese. Yes. Spread cheese is going to be the glue. You're going to be seeing what we're going to be doing with that. And with us telling you all of the ingredients, oh, what do you say we go ahead and get... Oh, you know what? There's one other thing. I, hey, look, I apologize. It's our first day back. My first day back. I've been gone for a while. I still got pina colada swimming around in my head. We got one more thing, Dave, that we're going to need for this video and for this meal. And please show everybody what that is. Not that, Dave. I don't even know what that thing is. This is what Joe smuggled back in his journeys from Key West. <laughs> Cop of Key West. We got it back. Oh, uh, Dave, the newspaper. So, I don't know why Joe keeps insisting that I tell you what we're going to do with all this stuff, but the newspaper and the bags will come in handy at the end. But we got to have newspaper for the meal. It's an ingredient. It's a... Yeah, if you, tool, if a you rip it up and put it in the noodles, it makes everything terrible. No, we're going to use this. I promise we're going to get back to this. Newspaper. <laughs> Newspaper. So let's go ahead and get into uh, making this meal. Right. We've lost our prison cutting board. We're going to be using an actual real deal wooden cutting board for this meal. We had to take a little break because uh, the, the exterminator just came for the fruit fly situation. In the meantime, uh, Dave's gone ahead and please keep that knife away from me, man. Dave's gone ahead and prepped some of our, our veggies. We've got our bell pepper prepped. We've got our onion prepped. But what we need to do is we need to get these noodles cooking. Yeah. So it's noodle crush time. Crush? It's crush time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Set. Crush. I've never crushed a noodle that fast in my life. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some water cooking. All right, while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the sausage. The what? The sausage. Hey, why is your meat so small? That's my dad. Water in the microwave. Love you, dad. <laughs> Dude, that's not small. That's actually. She'd be very happy with that. That's actually impressive. Water's cooking for the noodles. Dave's cutting the meat up. Dave, go ahead and handle the meat. All right, what can I do, Dave? You want me to go ahead and crush up some of these? Are we using flaming Hots? Are we using 
cheddar and jalapeno. What you want to use? I'm gonna go with flaming. Yeah, flaming. All right. So the rest of the chips, we're probably not gonna be using those. We're just gonna be using the bags. Yeah. And Dave, these aren't the kind of bags that we got in prison. No. These I are. I said old. that while we were there. I was like, "Rump round." So uh, a little small. So we just gotta make sure that the 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 wraps are about this big. Yep. Actually, they gotta be about that big. We'll figure. I'll get it right. We'll get it right. Now, when you guys see how we put this thing together, I mean, this is gonna be a really impressive meal. In my own personal opinion, I think this is probably gonna be one of the best meals that we've ever made. What do you think? Well, I mean, I like these, but everybody already knows what my favorite meal is. The log. That log is my shot. The log was good. I think this is going to rival that a little bit, though. Well, I always, I like cooking with wraps, so I'm not saying this ain't going to be freaking... A scud rocket ship? Yeah, this is good. This is more than going to be a missile. Like, once they're cooked, how long did you have this in here for? Five minutes. It's a lot of water, Dave. Alright. Water's coming out the microwave. Dump the noodles in there. Yeah. I'm also gonna put one seasoning pack in there. We're not gonna need a whole lot of seasoning because we're about to overdo it with this is about to be a flavor explosion in your mouth. As Guy Fierro would say. You like explosions in your mouth, Joe? No. <laughs> not since that one. Oh my god, that just happened. Have you ever seen anybody while you were locked up eat four noodles? No. What's the most noodles like, you ever seen somebody cook for them? I used to eat two noodles all the time. Yeah. By I myself. See, yeah, I never see nobody go I've, with more. I've seen somebody do three. Really? Three noodles to the Did face. Did he look like the Terminator guy? Or Terminex guy? I don't know. I feel bad. I ate four of them. Did you? You ate four noodles, Cody? Def Dude. What is wrong with you? Two noodles is a lot, bro. Now we're getting to some exciting stuff right here. Exciting times here on After Prison Show, folks. We're getting ready to grade the mozzarella. And we've actually concocted a prison grater. Let me go ahead and show you guys this right here. This is a soda can that Dave grinded the lid off of the soda can or the top off of the soda can on a concrete floor. You're going to find plenty of concrete floors in prison. And then he's actually poked some holes in this from inside going out. That way, this thing will actually grade some cheese. Let's see what we got here. I think, we're, I think it's working. Let's see. Woo, we got, some, we got a piece of metal in there, Dave. Yeah, we don't need that. Now, when you make one of these graders, as you just seen us right there, we had to take a piece of metal out of this. You definitely got to check your cheese for metal. Well, Dave's doing that. Let me go ahead and check on this. More metal. Look at that. Well, the stuff that you make, and look at that. Look at that piece of metal right there. That was a <laughs> hidden piece right there. That was a hidden piece of internal bleeding. Boy, we need to go through this cheese. I've been going through it. It's going to be all right. If it's super small, it only hurt for a little while. While you do that, and while I wait for this to finish cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get this. I'm going to heat the meat up. Meat. All of it. Yeah, we're gonna do some sauteing right here. My God, that is so annoying! I think I found a better way. Let's go ahead and get these onions in here as well. Summer sausage, bell peppers, all this. All it. Going all in. That's what she said. No, she said, is it all in? Is that all? Shake it like some dice, shake it like a salt shaker. It's something you don't stand, say to somebody when you're standing behind them at a urinal. Hey, you gonna sh <laughs> what? You gonna shake it like right. a salt shaker? Hey, well, you shook that thing like a salt shaker. Boy, I commend you, Dave, because that right there. How long did that take you to grade all that up? Probably about thirty minutes. <laughs> Something yeah, we, like we had to fast forward through that because Dave was going to be there forever with that can. And the noise was driving Joe freaking mad. And it was pretty annoying. But Dave's got all the mozzarella grated up. I'm working on getting the meat and the vegetables sautéed real nicely right here. Ooh, these things are steaming. Steaming. They still need more time, though. We got to nuke them. 
One thing about cooking summer sausage in prison, you are nuking it. Yeah, this needs way more time in the microwave. Does it? Yeah. So we're gonna transfer this over because it's a lot of noodle. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it up because I'm about to add some. Add some stuff to it. Yee. So talk about what you're getting ready to add to it, Dave. Well, I'm gonna add some of this pizza sauce. So we're making prison spaghetti right now. Kinda. Now we're putting the flaming hot crunchy Cheetos. So we got pizza sauce in here right now, and we got flaming hot Cheetos. So we're gonna have us a real spicy spaghetti-ish type of noodle filler that we're making right here. This is what you use to guarantee you're full at the end of every prison meal. The noodles. Ramen noodles. All right, I'm good with the, oh my God, that's hot. Veggies and meats. Yeah, we need all them, all them onions. You know, it's crazy because when you're cooking in the real world, what's left, like the remnants on the side of the bowl, you wouldn't even be worried about it. But in prison, you scrape it clean. You got to get every onion chunk. Hey, man, you, you left a chunk of onion in there. Or if you sit, like if I were to sit that down, someone else would have went. Hey, you going to use them onions? You, I ate that immediately. Can I put that in my butt naked? Hey, what you making over here, man? Good Lord, what is that? What you making, a lasagna? I ain't never had no prison lasagna. Can I get a piece of that? Yeah. I'll tell you exactly what you need to make one. <laughs> and uh, one day, if you work hard, you might be able to make it. Or don't. And have mommy and daddy taking care of you. Yeah, because that definitely... That was me. Shoot. Mommy came through a bunch of times for me while I was in there. Daddy mommy, did too, didn't he? This is some guy that just asked me to call him daddy. While you do that, let me go ahead and move on to the next step. What so, is that? Let's get these wraps ready. Let's get ready to let's get ready to prison wrap. This is where the newspaper is going to come in handy. I'm going to use this newspaper first of all to start constructing the wraps. Uh, but this newspaper is going to have two uses during this meal. Bada bing, bada boom. We're going to go there. You go. Yeah, we got to make them small because we got small chip bags. Now we're going to take some of our spread cheese and we're going to use this as glue. Can I use this? Do you care? No. So what Dave's doing right here is he's spreading a little bit of the spread cheese right here so we can glue these wraps together. We want to make a bigger wrap than what we have. Well, that didn't work out the way I planned. Good Lord, Dave, you, it looked like you've never done this before. There you go. I've never been to prison, Joe. This is all a hoax. Now you can make these longer, you can make them shorter. We're making them a little bit shorter because we got small chip bags and it's really going to be based upon the size of your chip bags. Why don't you put the jalapenos in that? You know what? Sounds like a boss idea. And look at all the fruit flies. My God, the exterminator was just here. While you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and start making this first wrap. So we're gonna take a little bit of pizza sauce. Just a little bit, we don't need a lot. Go ahead and mix that around. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to throw some of this uh, grated mozzarella. Special shout out to Dave for taking the time to grade this. <laughs> I gave it an A. We're not going to be sparing with these either because we're trying to make the best damn prison pizza wrap you've ever seen before. We're going to put just a little bit of the base. My God, we got, or a little bit of the filler. We got a lot of filler right there. you think, but. Keep that thing centered, Dave. Yeah. Dude, I might eat this. Oh, oh, wait. You gotta, before you. I'm not wrapping it. I'm trying to spread you it. You gotta make her pretty. And this is where these chip bags are gonna come in handy right here, folks. Because this sucker's gonna be bagged up. All right. Hold one in right there. Uh-oh. She's a little thick. All right. There she go. Look at that. There she go, though. Hey, she in that bag. She's in there. All right. We got her in there. We got one side. The first bag's always the worst bag, so the second bag will be a lot easier. Now, you're probably wondering why we're putting this burrito inside of a bag. Well, this is going to help us when it comes time to cook this, and we're going to be doing some nuking. Now, you want to tell them why you have to wrap these? 
I, I don't know. Well, I'm going to tell you why you have to wrap it in newspaper. The reason is we're about to stick these potato chip bags in the microwave and there is aluminum foil in the potato chip bag. That's what I thought it was, but I only I thought the newspaper honestly was for the insulation. Now we're going to double wrap these. So by wrapping them in the newspaper, it does help with insulation, but it also keeps from your microwave exploding and catching on fire. You might want to go ahead and start the first one. Yeah, because we're going to do one, six minutes on one side, six minutes on the other. I would do, I would just do, because this microwave is a lot better. So I would do, we'll do three and three. Well, it turns too, so. Right, but it don't flip it. Yeah. All right, so we got three minutes going here. Let's go ahead and get our second wrap going. This is fun. <laughs> Just like the old days, when we would be sitting in prison, 4th of July Eve, wondering where Jody's taking our girl to watch the fireworks. Oh, God. See how the, the potato chip bags look? They're probably melted. Not the way they're supposed to be, though. Yeah, look, the grease was coming through it. A little burnage on the ends. That's the nukage. You gotta let this thing. That's how you know it's cooked right. When you see that bag melted like that, it's all cinched up because it's aluminum foil on the inside of this bag. Look right here. Look where I'm ripping it. And you can actually see the, that's the wrap. It burnt off of the wrap. These are official prison pizza burrito wrap wraps. Yeah, but you know what? We made a mistake. God, I'm tired of making mistakes, man. Uh, we forgot the most important ingredient. You know what that is? Yes, I do. We forgot the bacon. We were rushing, we were starving. I mean, look at Dave, Dave's not even waiting. Dave's going right into this thing. Go ahead and go ahead and take a bite of that, Dave. Hell no, hell no. I know this thing is hot. It just cooked for nine minutes in the microwave. Look at that thing, let me see it. It's, cr it's crispy. It's almost like a, a chalupa. So we've cooked all three of the burritos. This is the last one coming out of the microwave right now. And you can see, woo, flaming hot. It's probably a good word. Yeah, a good way to describe exactly what this thing is gonna be. So you're definitely gonna have a little bit of bag that you gotta cut off of these things, but that's just a part of what it is. This is the best way to nuke stuff while you're in prison, especially when it comes to making these burritos like this. Look at that. I mean, the thing almost looks like a, a freaking hot pocket. And it's hot. You ain't gonna put that in your pocket. <laughs> I wanna like give you a real good idea of this. I mean, listen. She's, she's hard as a rock. So now we gotta let these things cool off a little bit. And then it's gonna be the taste test reaction. So we've got our three pizza burrito prison wraps. Pizza burrito prison wrap by they, Tostitos. <laughs> I mean, that's almost what they look like. They almost look like Hot Pockets right here. This is the one that we've cooked first, and this one's probably the coolest of the three. But we're going to go ahead and cut another one of these open, and let's, let's dive into these and see just how good they are. Wow, that one actually looks like the best one. Look at that right there. We've got mozzarella, pizza sauce, pepperonis, sausage, sausage, green peppers, onions, hot Cheetos, jalapenos, jalapenos, minus the bacon. And we forgot the bacon. You want to stuff some bacon in it? I mean, we could, but <laughs> you know what? What's done is done, and it's time to, and you know what's cool is you can see the pepperoni actually wrapped around, you see it? Yeah. That's, that's fancy. Oh, that, that's fancy right there. Cody, you want to come taste this thing with us? I'll go ahead and take this one because this one's uh, probably pretty hot. The two middle ones are definitely cool. So you guys grab a piece. Grab one. Mm. 
You guys ready for this? Oh, this is going to be hot. Pizza burrito prison, prison wraps. Cheers. All right, pizza taste buds. It's not that hot, but my God. It's like pow! <laughs> what is it like, Joe? It's like pow! Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, there was a fruit fly in there. Mm. Mm. Probably what I was tasting. Here's a little flavor. What do you think, Cody? Really good. Mm. The mozzarella. You taste pizza. It does taste like pizza. It tastes like pizza. Then you get a taste of the ramen. Then you get a taste of the vegetables. And one of these right here, if you eat the full wrap, you eat one of these, this is a meal. Oh, yeah, you're full. You're this full. This is a soda. This is, this, usually see this, someone with a small bag of chips, and a soda. It's like... The uh, perfect recipe. Or the perfect the perfect meal. Dave, tell me what you were telling me off camera about going to the microwave with your butt naked soup. You've got your one single ramen noodle soup, some water, a seasoning pack, and you're standing behind... A group because it's not gonna be just one guy, it's gonna be a group. Everybody's gonna be cooking together, and you're gonna be standing behind a group of like four or five dudes, and they've all got wraps. Yeah, How long is it gonna walk, be? Look, when you walk to the microwave and you just see like five, six wraps lined up next to the microwave, and people done wrote their name on it so you know who's next. Did you ain't getting in that microwave? It's like 12 minutes a piece. In there, the way they do it, they cook them 12 minutes a piece, they want them like hard. All the way through the whole thing. So, six wraps times 12 minutes, you're talking about a half a day. <laughs> That's what I feel. And you're so mad, you're like, screw you guys, think you're all fancy with all your wraps and all that. And all your good drug stuff. dealing money and <laughs> your kingpin status. And you, had to, you had to add that back in there. <laughs> I said this at the beginning of the video, I said, this was going to be absolutely delicious. And I mean, that's what this is. Mm. Are you impressed, Cody? Oh, yeah, it's really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting us know exactly what you thought about it. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. So what are you going to do with the can? I'm going to swallow it whole. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off. Look. It's cheese grater time. <laughs>